It comes up, we, we spoke in the past two days regarding not trusting anybody else. Having B'tachon Ba'ashem, believing and trusting in God is 100% to God. And, you can, and, and against trust God, and trusting God is believing in somebody else. What does that mean? That means if I trust my boss or I trust that I have enough money, so I trust, the, I trust my bank account, I trust, my, I trust people that, are gonna, that, 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 that support me. I, uh, I trust doctors even. If I put all my hands in, in I, put me in their, I put me in their hands completely, it shows that I don't trust in God anymore. Why? Because in every single part of his aspect in life, he's in God's hands. Of course, it doesn't, doesn't mean that right now you're going to turn, turn the corners and say that, uh, that's it, I'm not going to go into doctors, I trust God. This is, that, that's uh, it's crazy. You have to go, you have to understand that, if you, if you, if, if, that trusting a doctor is a begeder ishtadlut. What's ishtadlut? That you're making up, like we spoke yesterday, you're making a vessel in order to get, succeed in, in the, 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 the short they got, God, I want, to, I want to get healthy, I want to get successful, I'm doing a vessel, I'm, getting, I'm going to a good doctor, I'm opening a business, whatever it is, in order to show that I'm interested and I want this, but not saying right now that I'm not Botech Ba'ashem. Now, how, there's a great question that comes up. Okay, it's known that everyone has a tzaddik. Everyone has a tzaddik. You go to, they get a blessing from a rabbi, right? The great rabbis, you go and ask them for a blessing. So what do you show? to show? That you're trusting the rabbi's blessing. So if you trust, so this is a question, this is a question that comes up. If you're trusting the rabbi or the rabbi's blessing, that means you're trusting two people over here. You're trusting God. He's going to fulfill the blessing of this rabbi. So even if you say, I, I, I trust in God 100%, you are putting a slight notice over here that what? That I am still botech in this rabbi. I'm still trusting this rabbi. And what happens over here that it looks like, according to what we said over here, that if someone that trusts one, two people doesn't trust anybody. Because if you trust two people, that means you don't trust him and you don't trust him. Because if you trust him 100%, you'll be with him, you'll trust one person. So now, if you're botech, but tzaddik, and, and also with a, if you trust a, a great rabbi, and you also trust, ah, uh, the Kadosh Baruch Hu shows they don't trust anybody. Because if you trust in God, you wouldn't ask any rabbis for a Baruchot, because I trust in God. And over here, the answer to this question we have, the answer is Bet HaMikdash. Bet HaMikdash was known that whoever, there was three times a year that we would go to Bet HaMikdash, they go for the, the holidays. But when you go to, why do people go to Bet HaMikdash? Do offerings to pray to God. And when we do offerings to pray to God, they know they're going to get answered over there the most. Wait, we know, the whole entire world, it says in it says, in that the whole entire world has God. God's everywhere. Famous song of the church, Hashem is here, Hashem is there, Hashem is everywhere. And the Kuda over here, the point over here is, so if you're saying that God is everywhere, why are you going to the Mikdash? Okay, there's a commandment. Okay, that's uh, three times a year, you have to go. Okay. But why are you going to Bet HaMikdash even when it's not those three times a year? Why are people going? Because over there is God, that, 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 that was God's home. Like it's brought in Ishaya Navi. The Bet HaMikdash was in the realm of Bet HaMikdash. This is the prayer place of God. That means if you want a higher level of Answering the God, God's gonna answer you everywhere. But the difference over here is the revelation, not the revelation. The same exact, exact, same exact thing that we spoke with someone that trusts somebody else. Let's see, you have a rich uncle, right? This is the, this is the mashal, this is the parable that we already brought. But it, it touches us, the same notes over here. If you trust your uncle, God says, "I'm removing my revealed revelation, my re revealed, my revealed insurance on from from you." The, the A pack of insurance, the number AAA, the A plus, the best insurance. I'm removing it from you if you if, I, if you trust somebody else. Why? Because you have someone else to trust. And but he still leaves the the lower grade insurance. That eh, leaves it over there. It leaves it for you that you're, because, you're, because you're my son, you're my child. I'm still watching you, but not completely. Now, the same thing over here. Kadosh Baruch Hu, the whole, the, the main place of the that that, that, that filah is get accepted everywhere wherever you go in, in the Beit Hamikdash has the highest revelation, the highest level of Kabbalat at Filot. If you pray, you get answered over there. It's like the Inyan of Minyan. If a person prays by himself at home, he tells himself, okay, I'm home right now, I'll do a Minchat, Chik Chak, fast. 
I will be in Chik Chak, we need to go to the synagogue. 7, 7.35, you have a minyan over here. Why? Why are you missing out? There's a beautiful minyan. There's, and there's uh, almost, some, most times even 20 people. Come, hold that moment, make the minyan. And your prayers are going to get answered much more. In a higher, so too. The same exact idea is the better minyan in the, in the rest of the world. When the better minyan was around us, when the better minyan was around then, they had, they had, a, 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 they had a point. A holy, a holy hot spot, you could call it that. A hot spot location, when you go over there, you connect with your phone, you connect with your Barakot God, 100%, all, all the Barakot get accepted. But in our days, we don't have that hot spot. What, what, what do we have? We have the Barakot of the Tzadikim. And of course, we're talking about the difference of, there's a, there's a, there's a very, very, you have to be very, very careful of the Barakot of Tzadikim. Tzadik, there's a, a tzad, when we're speaking about Barakha from a Tzadik, a blessing from a holy person, from a rabbi, it's a, it's a, it's a true rabbi. What's a true rabbi? A true rabbi is a, ra a true gadol. It's someone that nullifies his opinion to God. What all he's looking for is the word of God. That means that if he sees that, that it's, not, it's not like he's looking for right now to be uh, to, to, to make himself greater. But the point over here is that when he sees that God, that he sees this is Dvar Hashem. Like he said, like oh, after Gadol Baruch left, left this world, what do we have left? It says. The exact words are that the Lord, uh, that the Miyom Shechara Beit Hamikdash, and no Kadosh Baruch, and and no Kadosh Baruch Hu Ba'olamo, El Adale Damot Shel Alacha Milvad. That after the God, after the Beit Hamikdash was destroyed, the day the Beit Hamikdash was destroyed, all we have left is the is Alacha. Is the is the, and what's Alacha? Ratzon Hashem. The Alacha is not something dry. That I wake up in the morning, I have to wash my hands, I have to say Modani, I have to pronounce it in, I have to. It's the will of God. It's the idea, it's, it's, it's revealing what God wants. And when someone does the halakha right, and when, there's a, when, the, when, in, when you understand it and you put it into your mind, I'm not doing something dry over here. I'm, when I'm putting on filin, I'm doing God's will. God wants it to put on filin. When I put on filin and I'm doing God's will, from there and onward, it's much easier for me to connect the hot spot that was back then. To which hot spot was this? The hot spot of Bitachon Hashem and that answering all my filot. Baruch Adonai Le'olam. Amen. Amen. Amen.